I'm Christopher Zweig, and to celebrate my 30th birthday today, I give you this week's reviews on Henry Selleck's Return to Stop Motion Animated Features with Wendell and Wilde, featuring the voices of Key and Peele, Elizabeth Banks and Cole Jane, James Gray's Armageddon Time with Anne Hathaway and Anthony Hopkins, Raymond and Ray with Ewan McGregor and Ethan Hawke, and The Good Nurse with Jessica Chastain and Eddie Redmayne. Let's take a look. Our first movie is Wendell and Wilde, the return to stop motion animated features for Henry Selleck, the genius behind The Nightmare Before Christmas, James and the Giant Peach, and Coraline. This time he uses demon caricatures of the comedy duo Key and Peele. They're demon brothers who manage to make their way into the living world with the help of an unhappy teenager named Cat Elliot who summons them in exchange for her dead parents being brought back to life. She's voiced by Lyric Ross. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm having a vision! <laughs> a green-headed girl. She seems so real. Greetings! We are the magician mortician, the artiste of the afterlife. So, as your masters, we order you to turn around and, uh... <laughs> You're tripping! If the story isn't all that understandable, the voice acting and visual appeal both prove this is a Henry Selleck piece, also written and produced by Jordan Peele, who specializes in the horror genre, so these two filmmakers are a match made in heaven. <laughs> Wendell and Wilde is rated PG-13, so it's obviously not for the little kids, but for the older crowd, it's a welcome home party for Selleck, not just for the visuals and animation and Key and Peele caricatures, but also for the ways its young heroine uses her attitude and emotions. She knows how to act independent and speak her mind, and the movie gives her her vulnerabilities. This is absolutely entertaining for fans of the stop-motion genre, so check it out! Our next movie is called Jane, which stars Elizabeth Banks as a housewife in 1968 who has to terminate a pregnancy that could kill her, but most abortions were illegal back then. So, she finds a flyer that says Call Jane, and this Jane is an organization dedicated to giving women the illegal abortions at astronomical prices, of course. You're gonna rest for a few hours. Which one of you is Jane? <laughs> we're all Jane. That's Sigourney Weaver as a member and her new friend. Banks ends up joining this organization and must lie to her family and friends about taking an art class while trying to make the place more affordable for those who are either raped or too poor. What do you mean? Art class. Let's take a deep breath. You got a knack for this. Could have been a nurse. Could have been a doctor. The family life is a mixed bag with her crimes nearly being exposed being the weakest part and the strongest being that her daughter, played by Allison J, going deeper into her activities. Banks is delightful in both perspectives as the housewife and liberator, Weaver has a sassy attitude as her friend, and Jay has the right kind of emotions as the daughter. Call Jane is not as strong in its storytelling, but it is strong in its commitment and persistence, so check it out! Next up, Armageddon Time, which is writer-director James Gray's reflection on his childhood in Queens, New York. His main protagonist is young Paul Grafe, played by Banks Repta, who comes from a Jewish-American family with Anne Hathaway and Jeremy Strong as his parents, and Anthony Hopkins as his grandpa and the only person he looks up to. His best friend is an African-American troublemaker named Johnny Davis, played by Jalen Webb, who succumbs to the stereotypes up to the point of them getting in trouble for smoking a joint in school, and ultimately having Paul sent to the same private school as his older brother. My parents are sending me to my brother's school. That's heavy. Sitting through Armageddon Time has its challenges as we see how Gray represents his childhood and how he acknowledges the prejudice and hardships of his family's roots in life in Brooklyn. This is not a history film about the filmmaker, it's a reflection that often shines and often depresses you. At times it's difficult to watch and at other times it's understandable. Our next movie is Raymond and Ray, which stars Ewan McGregor as Raymond and Ethan Hawke as Ray know the difference. They're half-brothers who reunite for the funeral of their abusive father. His dying words are that they bury him and the two Rays blame their father for how their lives turned out. We come from chaos. Our father was a monster. We repeat, we repeat. We don't have to. Then there's more half-brothers that they never knew they had, there's an obnoxious kid and some acrobatic ones, and none of them win us over. Raymond and Ray only works when McGregor and Hawk use their emotions and tones, but fails when it goes over the top with the sappy would-be romances and reunions. It doesn't justify itself, and the story could have gone somewhere if the title was promising. And our last movie is The Good Nurse, which stars Jessica Chastain as a nurse and single mom with a serious heart condition and no health insurance to cover it at the moment, and Eddie Redmayne plays a fellow nurse named Charlie Cullen who offers to help her while trying to conceal his identity as a killer who's overdosed his patients with insulin in their IV bags. Chastain has to get to the bottom of this. 
cute they're lovebirds. I cannot get over how cute your Vanessa is. Who's Vanessa? Oh my god. There's insulin in her system. The Good Nurse is based on a true story about Charlie Cullen and acts out the relationship between the good nurse and the bad nurse, both tremendously played by Chastain and Redmayne. Even if the screenplay has unnecessary elements, you're still interested and disturbed by the results. It's a well-made film that should keep Netflix streamers involved. Okay, to recap this week's new movies, thumbs up for Wendell and Wilde, thumbs up for Call Jane, thumbs up for Armageddon Time, thumbs down for Raymond and Ray, and thumbs up for The Good Nurse. Well, those are the movies I'm reviewing this week. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay safe, and I'll see you at the movies. For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels, and please read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and download the new HD Radio app.